Hey guys, Josh here, and in this video, I'll be telling you how you can learn all of the recipes in Story of Seasons A Wonderful Life, as well as everything you need to know about cooking in this game. Let's start by covering the basics of how cooking works. You can cook by interacting with the kitchen in your house, and there you'll have the option to either cook from ingredients or from a recipe. And it's pretty straightforward, but I will explain the differences as I want this to be a complete guide. First, cooking from ingredients is pretty much how it worked in the original game. You just select a dish category, you then pick the ingredients, and if they do correspond to a dish, your character will make it. If there is no existing dish that matches the ingredients and the category selected, you will either get a failed dish if you used one to two ingredients, or an unknown dish if you used three ingredients. Don't overlook this, because in order to complete the encyclopedia, you will have to make these two dishes, and a simple way to make them is by selecting the salad category and just put some wild herbs and mushrooms as there are no proper salad recipes using only those ingredients. Also, if it's your first time making a specific dish from ingredients, the recipe will be added to your recipe list so you can make it more easily in the future. Cooking from recipes is the second way to cook and it's easier because you just select the category, pick from any recipes that your character knows and it will tell you what ingredients you can use in that recipe and you just have to select them. This method is easier because you cannot fail a recipe, but obviously you are restricted to those that you already know. And very soon we'll go over how you can learn all of the recipes as efficiently as possible. But before we do, let's quickly talk about cooking levels. At the beginning of the game, you'll only be able to create salads and soups, but after cooking enough dishes, you will level up your cooking skill, allowing you to cook hors d'oeuvre and desserts, and leveling up one more time will allow you to cook entrees. There's no way to really keep track of your cooking experience, but a few good things to know are that more complex dishes will give you more experience. So for example, if you're cooking herbal and milky soups, it will probably take you a while to level up compared to if you try more complicated dishes. Also, whether you cook a dish 10 times one at a time or 10 all at once, it will give you the same amount of experience so do not hesitate to cook as much as you can all at once to save some time. Another thing to keep in mind besides cooking experience is that certain recipes require an oven, which you will automatically get as you start the second year. You will still be able to learn some of these recipes in the first year, but you won't be able to successfully prepare them until you have the oven. Some recipes such as curry will also require you to have Lou's spice, which you will obtain from Lou after reaching at least 70 friendship points with her, and entering the inn's kitchen while she's in there. The spice can be used as many times as you'd like, it's infinite, so don't be scared to use it. Before we go into how you can learn all of the recipes, a little extra tip is that since dishes do not have a quality level in this game, using high quality products does not make any difference, so I would recommend keeping your best products for selling and the lower quality ones for cooking. So now let's go over the different methods that can be used to learn recipes and how you can combine them to make your learning as efficient as possible. The first method, as I mentioned earlier, is by cooking from ingredients. Just cook any recipe and you will learn it right away. If you want, you could learn all of the recipes in the game just this way, but it's not the easiest or most convenient method. The second way and probably how you will learn most of your recipes is by talking to the nature sprites. Once a day, talk to them and they will teach you one random recipe. In fact, they can teach you all of the recipes available in the game, so you could just stick to that method. However, it would take some time considering that there are over 120 recipes to learn and only 40 days in a year. On top of that, sprites will not teach you recipes on the day after a festival, unless you completely skip the festival, in which case they will still teach you a recipe. Also, they can only teach you recipes within the categories that you know how to cook, so for example, if you already know all the salads and soups, but your cooking is still level one, so you cannot cook hors d'oeuvre, desserts and entrees, the sprites will not teach you any more recipes until you level up your cooking. Similarly, they will not teach you any recipes requiring an oven if you are still in the first year. And lastly, they won't teach you recipes requiring rare crops if you have not acquired those rare crops yet. And just to clarify, the rare crops are the ones that you make by combining two different hybrids. So it would be useful to start making hybrids as soon as you can, so you can unlock more recipes quicker. As you can see, it will take some time if you want to learn all recipes only from the sprites. So I would recommend trying to accumulate as many recipes as possible from the following methods. One thing that you can do pretty much from day one is searching around the valley for recipes. By interacting with furniture in people's homes, such as their fridge or their desk, you will find tons of notes containing recipes. Sometimes they will tell you the whole recipe straight away. Other times they will only tell you the ingredients, 
and the name of the dish will be listed as question marks, but it will still get added to your list of recipes, you'll just have to cook it at least once for the actual name to show up. There are 22 spots you can check to learn recipes, I'll go over all of them pretty quickly so feel free to pause if you want to follow along in your game. I will start with those available from the first year, then the second year. Let's start with Takakura's house and check his kitchen to learn how to make an egg soup. Continue to Gustafa's house and look around the three guitars and you'll find out how to make a delicious fruit salad. Then head to the inn and you're gonna be there for a little while. Start with the plant near the front desk to learn how to make a meunière set. Then go to the kitchen and check the fridge for the sweet potato and tomato soups. Then the cabinet where all the plates are for quick pickles. And the big milk containers for the tomamelo and tomacaro salads. Get out of the kitchen and go to Tay and Lou's room and check on their desk where the two cups are for the darn good soup recipe. Then go up to the second floor and look at the totem pole for the sashimi before heading outside and behind the building where there are two big pots and you'll learn how to make veggie juice. Next, go down to Daryl's lab and check the thing that looks like a fridge with bottles inside and you'll find the recipes for ban orange jam as well as papal jam. Then head to Sully, Chris and Hugh's house and look at the fridge for a simple egg salad recipe. Next, go to the villa and in the entrance on the left side of the stairs, Check the area with the painting for a fruit punch recipe. Then go to the kitchen, read the notes on the wall for the marinade. Then go to Sebastian's room, check the chest of drawers to learn how to make an earth soup. And lastly, on the second floor, look for the potted tree on the right side, where you'll find a note telling you how to make mashed potatoes. Get out of the villa and on the other side of the valley, go to Vesta's house and check the side table near the bed, where you'll find a delicious curry recipe. So these are all the recipes you'll be able to find as early as year one, but from year two, there will be a few more. In Garrett, San and Kate's house, check the desk on the left side of the room on the first floor to find a pound cake recipe. Then head up to the second floor and interact with the bookshelf for a carrot cake recipe and the desk for a strawberry pie. Next door in Badok's house, look at the bookshelf for an omelette recipe. By the way, there's another way to obtain this recipe. It's if you're married to Rock, you can show him an egg and you might have to show him a few times, but he will eventually teach you how to make an omelette. Next, go to Gary's Lowell house and check the closet for a veggie cake recipe. The last one is a bit more complicated to find and can only be done from chapter 4. At that point, Van will be selling a vase for 100,000 G. Just buy that vase, which will be added to your bedroom and interact with it in order to learn how to make Odin. So these are all the recipes you can learn simply by interacting with the environment and I would recommend learning them as early as possible as doing so will ensure the sprites teach you different ones from these. Another good way to learn new recipes is by befriending villagers. Once you reach a certain friendship level, talk with them while they're in their house and they will ask you if you know a certain recipe. Just answer with no and they will teach you that recipe. They all require different friendship points and we will go over all of them. Just keep in mind that their friendship bar is on a scale of 1 to 99, just to give you a little idea of how high your friendship needs to be. First is Nina, who will teach you the marinade recipe after reaching 60 friendship points, so that shouldn't take too long, but if you watched the previous part of the video, you should already know the marinade recipe, so it's not very useful. Next is the ice cream recipe, which you will learn from Chris after reaching 70 friendship points with her. Then we have Vesta, who also after 70 friendship points will teach you the starchy veggies recipe. Still from 70 friendship points, Lou will teach you the stew recipe if you talk to her while she's in the kitchen of the inn. And after 80 friendship points, she'll tell you how to make a heartwarming soup. Once you reach 90 friendship points with Gavin, he will tell you how to make thick juice if you chat with him while he's behind the counter at the Bluebird. Starting from the second chapter, Takakura will teach you how to make a baked sweet potato no matter his friendship level, but according to the testing I did for this video, I think he's more likely to teach you the recipe during the evening. Also from the second chapter and requiring at least 70 friendship points, Sebastian will teach you how to make sweet potato tarts, and for that to happen, talk to him while he is in the kitchen of the villa. Lastly, from the fourth chapter, San will tell you how to make a peach tart if you have at least 90 friendship points with her. These are the recipes you will learn by befriending the different characters and with the methods I've covered so far, you should be doing pretty well. But there are a few more methods, just not as efficient, so I'll go over them a bit quickly. One of these ways is to simply accept requests from the Bolton board. 
requests will appear on the 1st and the 6th of each month and whenever there is a request for a certain dish, you will learn its recipe automatically. Certain requests will have specific requirements before they appear and to keep things simple, I'll just put a table here for you to look at. But for the most part, just make sure to accept requests when they show up on the board and once in a while, you will learn a new recipe. You can also learn recipes by watching the Variety TV channel, which is the one with the music note icon. On the 1st and the 6th of each month, there is a fishing program where sometimes recipes will be taught. Those recipes are marinade, sashimi, meunier set, all of which you should already know if you search for the recipes in people's houses, but there's also fish stew and sushi, so it might be worth watching TV once in a while just to learn those two recipes. Lastly, and by far the least efficient way to learn recipes, is by playing the minigame at the layover inn. There's this minigame that can be played with Garrett, Hugh or Van, where you will have to press a series of buttons to serve dishes, and you will be rewarded with a dish for participating, but if you score well enough, which is 9 plates or more with Garrett, 12 with Hugh or 15 with Van, you will also be rewarded with a new recipe. The problem is, that minigame is pretty difficult to trigger. I will put a table on the screen and these are the times during which you should be able to start the minigame by talking to each character in the inn, according to the official Japanese game guide. However, it turns out that Lou also has to be at the inn and awake as well for it to work, and most of the time, I found that it just doesn't work. Personally, I found that the best time to play this mini game is from year 4 with Hugh, around 10am, but by year 4, you'll most likely already know all of these recipes, so feel free to do the mini game just for fun and to complete the encyclopedia, but the reward isn't worth it in my opinion. So that's pretty much it for how you can learn all of the recipes in Story of Seasons A Wonderful Life. To summarize, cook regularly to level up your skill, Make sure to talk to the sprites daily, search all of the houses, and make friends with everyone, and you're gonna know all of the recipes pretty quickly. I hope this video was helpful, if it was, feel free to leave a like, and check out my other tips and tricks videos for Story of Seasons A Wonderful Life, and I'll see you all in the next video.